Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well I've been a little bit AWOL for the last few days um, because I've been very busy packing up some more whatnot kits and I have finally got to a point where they're all done I can put them on the Etsy shop. So it's now Tuesday morning the 13th of June. You can see behind me um, there's a stack of kits all ready to go there and I thought I'd just quickly show you um, a look at some of the different colourways I've come up with this time. They're all different from last time. I can't do the same thing again because I, I was literally using pieces that I had. Obviously I've had to buy needles and pins and needle threaders and stuff but you know the idea is to use the... Uh, scraps of fabrics and trims that I already had in my stash so but I think I've come up with some really fun combinations I enjoyed it I got I was amazed how, how long it took me um, to go through all the different processes of putting the fabrics together and then the trims and then adding in the other all the other bits and pieces that go into it um, and then arranging oh. them and <laughs> yeah but it's quite a fun process very absorbing and I have finished listening to a lovely Stephen King book on um, Audible while I was doing that so it's quite fun. Anyway shall I start waffling and just show you I want to make this fairly quick so I can get it out. The plan is that I will have these in the Etsy shop at two o'clock this afternoon UK time uh, and I did say I'd give fair warning so I need to pull my finger out. Right and what am I doing looking for the right button. So for anybody that might be watching that haven't seen these before I can get my mug out of the way we don't need that at the moment. Um, these are the slow stitches whatnot <laughs> that I've created the kits for so the idea is that you've got this handy dandy needle threader it's got uh, two ends depending on the size eye of needle that you're doing so for embroidery needles chenille needles darning needles things like the kind of thing you'd be using for your slow stitching projects this is a little treasure and then it's got this this ribbon loop with a little ring so you can just open this ring up and uh, put it through your your scissors like that you've got a couple of uh, plastic bobbin things for your threads that also come they also come in the kit um, and you've got a couple of pins that also come in the kit <laughs> um, so the idea is that you've got everything you've got a, a, a pin cushion somebody to keep your needles you your threads that you're using for a particular project keep your scissors all together and your needle threader so if you're just taking this away with you or um, you know taking a bit of stitching stitching away with you or um, taking it downstairs in the evening or out in the garden at this time of the year um, everything is sort of handy and portable so that was the idea behind it and there are a couple of other quite different ones that I've done and it's a good excuse to do a nice lot of stitching I could have done more stitching into the back here kind of wish I had now um, I loved the one that uh, Susie Q made with her kit um, a few of my um, online YouTuber friends have bought these so I'm dying to see what everybody does Susie Q made hers up really fast and she added a little pocket so there's plenty of the fabrics she had this colourway and she added this little pocket just to tuck the needle thread it into because it was going to annoy her dangling about which I can kind of see so if I make another one I might do that I might do that I might add a pocket on the back anyway enough waffle let's crack on I have got lots to show you. Given these all names, most of them I've only got a couple couple of. One or two I've only got one of, so one at a time. They're not sealed up yet because um, I'm going to put the actual needle threader and the stuffing in as they go out. So uh, what did I call this one? I put them in the, in the back. So I called this one Strawberry Trifle. <laughs> so you can see you get, a, you get a plain piece of fabric. You can't actually see there because I've covered it up, which is, which is kind of the backing that you stitch these strips onto and then you get the pattern piece of fabric that will become like that's the pattern piece of fabric um, you get several strips seven or eight strips of different patterned fabrics and then you get seven or eight pieces of different trims it's way more than you're going to need but it's nice to have the choice you get uh, four different and most of them it's four different threads the bobbins of course the book ring the needle hold needle threader will be in there there's a little extra shorter piece of ribbon that's what makes the the loop there uh, oh and this little tissue package here uh, full of sprinkles <laughs> 
mostly sequins this time. So I need to tell you anything else. Oh yeah, and you get the template on the back to cut out and use to, to, cut, to cut your heart. And of course you get the instructions and the stuffing, which isn't in here. It's easier to store them without the stuffing in. I've managed to miss it. The first one I pick up and it's the only one I missed it. I'll have to double check these all before they go out. So each one also has a little piece of felt with um, a needle and a couple of pins in there as well. I need to put that one to one side to make sure I rectify that. So that's strawberries and strawberry trifle. This one's called lavender green. Now I did have a lavender green before um, in the last lot that went out. They went out so fast they literally went in less than two hours. Not much more than an hour and they were all gone. So um, I did have a couple of lavender greens in that. This is slightly different because you know I haven't got the same fabrics again. You can't really see everything that's in there now. <laughs> but again just a selection. Just the, the pattern piece. There's the plain piece underneath there. Selection of fabrics trims the um, coordinating threads there's the the needle and pits I was so pleased to find these funky needles with the coloured um, eye part <laughs> I thought they were really cute um, but ring oh and this these cords are what get plaited together to create your needle threader cord I'll speed up a bit now this one I call rosy posy <laughs> I love that fresh sort of bright summery feel of that one. I did have some of this fabric in one of the previous batch, but um, it's different uh, different bits and bobs to go with this time. Rosie Posey, Zebra Crossing. <laughs> if anybody's watching this who isn't in the UK, Zebra Crossing is one of those black and white striped pedestrian crossing things that we have here. I don't know if anybody else in the world has Zebra Crossings, but yeah. <laughs> well, this one I think I've called Busy Bees, yeah. Uh, I love, there's three different bee print fabrics in there. This one's got beehives and things on it. A lot of these fabrics have come from the lovely Jackie Perry who sent me that parcel of fabrics for my kits, which is so sweet of her. Yeah, I love that one. It's got the three different bee prints. I did keep, I did keep a few of them for myself, so I do love bee prints. <laughs> it has uh, cleared out my fabric stash uh, quite a bit as well, which is, which is a good thing. So I've got room for new stuff. What did I call this one? Summer Garden. We had an English garden in the last lot. This time we got Summer Garden. I've even tried to coordinate the pins with the kit for no good reason really, but it's just quite fun to do it. That's my favourite one of the needles. It's this lovely sort of turquoisey blue colour. <laughs> oh, this one I called Mermaid, I think. Yeah, this one's called Mermaid. Yeah, a bit leery that one, but yeah, calls to me that does. All the shine and the sequins. <laughs> Love this stuff. This one's called Rainbow for obvious reasons. <laughs> this is forget me not I've tried to arrange this really carefully but it's all in the course of doing this it's all jumbled up and I guess that's what it will do in the post anyway but trust me when you get in there <laughs> they're all pretty and they all go together what's this one called uh, farmhouse kitchen largely because of the one particular fabric that you can't even see now <laughs> It's got a chicken and stuff on it as well. What I tended to do was take one of the fabrics and then pull the colours from that and then pick out coordinating fabrics from there. I got into a, a nice routine with it in the end. And it, you know, it's lovely doing those things, pulling, uh, we all, anybody that loves this kind of thing, you, you love the process of pulling everything together, all your bits and pieces, but it's so time consuming, isn't it? So I underestimated uh, how long it was going to take me. Uh, what's this? I called this one Hot House Flowers. <laughs> so this is the fabric that I would have baited, pulled all the colours from this time. You can't actually see <laughs> All the time I spent bagging these out, <laughs> they look like a jumble. But yeah, you can see the, the fabrics all coordinate nicely. This one I called Turtle Dove, because it's all grey. I call this one so, so vintage. <laughs> There's, I've got two of these. Um, the other one has got a slightly different old-fashioned sewing machine on it, but the same other bits of both. So, yeah, you will, with all of them, um, or with some of them, the trims will vary a little bit. You know, I didn't necessarily have two pieces of the same thing, so I put in something kind of similar. Uh, this one, the other one of this, it, the background colour is is slightly different. It's more pinky, so you know, beautiful plumage called this one every single time what I've done is ends up with all the stuff I just put these in upside down really didn't I <laughs> I should have put this up the end 
I'm not taking them all out again now. But you can see, you can see that. I love this fabric. This came from Jackie. Uh, this one I call Water Garden. Now I've got four of these. They're called Out of Africa and each one's different because each of these pieces is different. Um, but they're all uh, a combination of the fabrics that you see there. So one of them might have this as the larger piece. Um, yeah, lovely bright colour for all that one. This one's called Club Tropicana. Now it's not exactly like the Club Tropicana ones that Susie Q and um, Tori of Cool Kooky Creatures had because I've got slightly different supplies. Um, I've only got two of them. And at the moment I've put one aside for someone who sent me a specific request on eBay, uh, on Etsy. Um, so I'm going to get in touch with her and see if she wants this one. So there might be two listed, there might only be one. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way on Etsy that you can do a custom listing for someone. We'll have to work out how to do that, but I haven't had a chance to look because I've been busy packing up orders. This is annoying. Okay, so this one I've called Pretty in Pink, and I love this because it's got this cartoon. It's very hard to part with this, actually. You're honoured if you get one of these. <laughs> I just love this cartoony fabric and I'm going to have to try and get hold of some more as well. Um, I love this one as well. Also quite hard to part with. Certain pieces of fabric are quite hard to let go of. <laughs> but then it's a nice excuse to play with them all and, you know, you can't, again, you can't really see. But you'll see once you get them and open them up, it'll be a nice surprise when you what you get in there. Now, this one's called Pretty Peacock. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I think in this case, this <laughs> that was the inspiration, but I pulled colours from here. Um, this one's called Bright Butterflies. I think I probably pulled my colours from this one. There's quite a lot of colours in there when you really look at it as well. So <laughs> this, is, this is quite a chunky trim to use, but you could actually unravel it and couch the separate pieces down. You can do all kinds of things adding these trims. It's, I mean, like when I did this one... And, uh, is. Yeah, so that one I've I've blanket stitched the trim down. Um, this one I've kind of over stitched it and then done a running stitch along there. This one I've done great big stitches right the way across and then I've done a whipped um, whipped running stitch I think down the centre there. And this one I've just done a running stitch to attach. You can do all different ways to attach the the trims. But yeah, that one I've done a a whipped running stitch along the centre of this leafy thing. And that's a blanket stitch on that one. But you could do the whole thing with nothing but straight stitches. You just need to do a back stitch to join the two pieces of the heart together. Other than that, you could just do it entirely just with a straight stitch, which I think is probably for a lot of us, it's our favorite stitch to do because it's just so relaxing and it looks great. I mean, I've done quite a lot of just straight stitches there, just done them in circles around the, the pattern. And, uh, and there I've covered that one with, there you can see, tiny, tiny straight stitches. I think they're called seed stitches, just to give it a little bit of background texture. This one I've only got one of, I've called it Rainbow Bees because of this beautiful piece of fabric here. I love the, I love the colours and the, uh, the brightness of that. This is a bit leery, this trim. <laughs> Again, you know, you could, you could, uh, a pick it apart if you want to do and not use this whole chunky thing <laughs> but yeah that's lovers of valeri that one this one's called seaside holiday i've got five of these actually because i had a few pieces of this but one of the pieces has just got one big boat in the middle but other than that it's the same as these as i say this trims might vary just slightly in some of them and then last but not least another couple of superheroes one I think this is one of my favourite ones just because it's really right and wrong. Um, Diane did one of these. She she had this chose this particular kit and she did hers. I'll try and remember to leave a link to her Instagram in the description box so you can go and have a look at her whatnot that she made because uh, she's only just recently got into slow stitching. She, it's just been really brilliant to see her, you know, really, you know, really getting into it and enjoying it. And uh, I I love uh, I love bringing new people into this into this hobby because it's, it's just so. Uh, I think it's really good for you your mental health actually because it's just so relaxing and absorbing and I find it very difficult to just sit and do nothing watch the telly or whatever um, I have to have something in my hands and I think a lot of us are like that so um, these all went really really fast as I say last time um, I've made a lot more this time <laughs> probably won't go at all now <laughs> 
I'm hoping a few people have actually said they're, they're kind of waiting for more to come in, so I'm hoping that uh, they will go. Hang on, excuse me. Oh, first cup of coffee is bliss, isn't it? So they're going to go up. It's time to get this out. It'll probably be 10 o'clock. So it's given you a few hours warning. They'll be in the Etsy shop at 2 p.m. today, UK time, 13th of June. There'll be probably three separate listings because I can't do this many variations on one listing. Um, do I do anything else? You don't have to buy one of the kits. I will also link below to my original tutorial so you could easily make one of these up out of uh, scraps that you've already got. Um, it's just really nice to, to have a little kit that someone else has curated for you sometimes, isn't it? Um, I've just ha uh, got one of Kooky's little kits, little kilpin brooch kits to start on myself. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of scraps already, but it's just something really nice about having that kit put together for you. So, uh, And it's a lovely thing to give as a gift to a friend that you might, um, that you know loves to stitch or you would like to get her into stitching or him. A lot of men love stitching too. If you uh, do make make one of these yourself, if you have one of the kits already or you've made some up from scraps of your own or if you get one of these, please don't forget to show us your whatnot. <laughs> you can tag me on um, Instagram or uh, join our Discord community. It's all free. Uh, it's really busy, really friendly in there. Um, so much going on, lots of people sharing what they're doing and yeah, it's just lovely. It's really, you know, I spend a lot of time in there now and I just find it sort of easier to navigate than Facebook and stuff, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, and there's a special kind of craft show and tell room in there where you could uh, share pictures because I'd just love to see what other people do with these. Like seeing uh, Susie spin on it and seeing how Diane's turned out was brilliant for me. Emily Arts here on YouTube showed her unpacking hers and her mum. She's doing one together with her mum. She showed that yesterday and I think she's going to video the making of it as well. And Zoe Hartist also had one, so I'm hoping she'll do a video. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, it's all very exciting. And of course, um, Victoria of, of Cool Kooky Creatures has also had a pack. I've not seen that she's done her, her whatnot yet, but I'm sure she won't be long. A uh, busy lady. Um, okay, right, I'm going to stop waffling now and crack on and get these on to Etsy. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that little peek at my whatnots, and I will see you again really soon. <laughs>